NASA just released a terrifying sound from a black hole. According to the space agency, it is a common misconception that there is no sound in space. NASA has released incredible audio captured by one of its space telescopes from a pair of black holes. But what does the sound of a black hole sound like? As if you were seeing a vision of heaven or hell? Let's find out. Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at how terrifying the sound from a black hole is. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. And let's get started. What are black holes? Nothing, not even light, can escape a black hole's gravitational pull. That's why they're called black holes. We are unable to see them directly. However, we can observe the effects of black holes on the space around them. Black holes have the mass of millions or billions of stars. They can also be as small as a few stellar masses crushed to a high density during supernova explosions. We also discovered last year that intermediate mass black holes exist. There could even be micro black holes. From theory to reality, Albert Einstein was the first to propose that our universe contained such strange, dense, massive objects in his general theory of relativity, published in 1915. As a natural result of massive stars dying and collapsing, black holes emerge from Einstein's equations of general relativity. Karl Schwarzschild, a German mathematician, was the first to mathematically define black holes in 1916. Many years later, in 1967, theoretical physicist John Wheeler coined the term black hole. Black holes were only mathematical curiosity until the 1970s. Then, in 1971, scientists discovered Cygnix X1, the first physical black hole. What lies within a black hole? We can't see what's inside a black hole because no light or information of any kind can escape. However, astrophysical theories suggest that all of a black hole's mass is concentrated into a tiny point of infinite density at its core. This is referred to as a singularity. The black hole's incredibly strong gravitational field is generated by this point, this singularity. Consider the possibility that the singularity does not exist. This is because all known physics fails under the extreme conditions at the center of a black hole, where quantum effects are undoubtedly important. It is impossible to describe what exists at the core of a black hole because we do not yet have a quantum theory of gravity. The Limits of a Black Hole The event horizon of a black hole is its boundary. It is not a physical advantage. It is simply a point in space beyond which it is impossible to escape the gravity of a black hole. Anything falling into the black hole that passes the event horizon will never be able to leave the black hole again. It gravitates inexorably and inescapably toward the black hole's nucleus. Any solid object within the event horizon is ripped apart by the intense gravity and reduced to its constituent subatomic particles. The black hole's escape velocity approaches the speed of light at the event horizon. So, how do you describe the sound of a black hole? Hell or heaven? It all depends on the black hole and how you listen, according to new research from the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory's Chandra X-ray Center. Although black holes remain one of the great mysteries of space, scientists now know what they sound like. NASA tweeted a 34-second audio clip of the sound of a black hole 200 million light years away on Sunday. The post quickly went viral, receiving over 429,000 likes and 101,000 retweets on Twitter. Many people on social media expressed their dissatisfaction with the eerie sound featured in the video. According to NASA, the black hole is located 240 million light years from Earth in the center of the Perseus galaxy. 
Scientists have known since 2003 that the area is filled with sound because pressure waves emitted by the black hole caused ripples in the cluster's hot gas that could be translated into a note, according to a May news release from the agency. However, the note was one that the human ear could not detect, so NASA used technology to interpret the sound. For the first time this year, scientists were able to extract sound waves from a black hole and make them audible using a sonification technique. The black hole is at the heart of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster, and the acoustic waves it emits have been transposed up 57 and 58 octaves to be audible to humans. The final outcome, released by NASA in May, is an odd howling that, if we're being honest, sounds not only eerie, but also angry. It is the first time that these sound waves have been extracted and rendered audible. We wouldn't be able to hear acoustic waves propagating through the massive amounts of gas surrounding the supermassive black hole at the center of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster, which is now famous for its eerie whales, at their current pitch. The waves contain the lowest note ever detected by humans in the universe, which is below the limits of human hearing. However, this recent sonification has not only raised the recording by several octaves, but it is also added to the notes detected from the black hole, giving us a sense of what they would sound like ringing through intergalactic space. The lowest note, discovered in 2003, is a B-flat, just over 57 octaves below middle C. Its frequency at that pitch is 10 million years. The lowest frequency detectable by humans is 1 20th of a second. The sound waves were exported radially, or outwards, from the supermassive black hole at the center of the Perseus Cluster and played anti-clockwise from the center, allowing us to hear sounds from the supermassive black hole in all directions at pitches 144 quadrillion and 288 quadrillion times higher than their original frequency. As with many of the waves recorded from space and transposed into audio frequencies, the result is shocking. However, the sounds are more than just a scientific curiosity. The tenuous gas and plasma that drifts between galaxies and galaxy clusters is denser and much hotter than the intergalactic medium outside galaxy clusters. As they transport energy through the plasma, sound waves propagating through the intracluster medium are one mechanism by which the intracluster medium can be heated. Because temperatures help regulate star formation, sound waves may play an important role in the long-term evolution of galaxy clusters. That heat is also what allows us to detect sound waves. The intracluster medium glows brightly in X-rays due to its high temperature. The Chandra X-ray Observatory enabled not only the detection of sound waves, but also the sonification project. Another well-known supermassive black hole was also sonified, M87 Asterisk, the first black hole to be directly imaged in a massive effort by the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration, was also imaged at the same time by other instruments. These include the Chandra X-ray Observatory for X-rays, the Hubble Space Telescope for Visible Light, and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array for radio wavelengths. Those images showed a gigantic jet of substance being launched from the space instantaneously outside the supermassive black hole at a rate of speed faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. An illusion, but a cool one. They have now been sonified as well. To be clear, these data were not originally sound waves like the Perseus audio, but rather light at various frequencies. The lowest frequencies of radio data have the lowest pitch in the sonification. Optical data are in the middle with x-rays at the top. Transforming visual data into sound can be a fun new way of experiencing cosmic phenomena and the method has scientific value as well. Transforming a data set can sometimes reveal hidden details, allowing for more detailed discoveries about our mysterious and vast universe. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.